Hey guys, on today's video, I wanted to discuss snow goose e-collar sounds and picking the right e-collar sounds uh, for you this spring. So if you guys haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying what you see so far. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about with e-collar sounds, number one, is don't be boring. And I mean that literally. Um, there's a lot of e-collar sound. There's an e-collar sound specifically I hear a lot on a lot of videos. And uh, it's that that uh, overpowering feeding gabble and you, with few honks. And to me, it doesn't sound like live snow geese on the ground. I've heard snow geese on the ground around here in the springtime. And it's just a mass of, it's a mass of honks and barks and uh, it's, it's just, it's miraculous. I mean, it's crazy at how vocal they are on the ground you know, or on the water. I mean, they're just a very vocal bird. So whenever you hear straight, you know, feeding gabble with a few honks, it just doesn't sound lifelike, especially for guys running over a thousand, two thousand decoys. It just doesn't sound, uh, it doesn't fit to how many birds you're trying to portray on the ground with on the ground it doesn't fit the sounds don't go together with that many decoys so i mean if you're running 100 you know 100 full bodies or just 100 decoys in general i think it would fit a little bit better but i've still i've heard 50 geese sound more vocal than that so um but number one don't be boring and sound like live snow geese the second thing i want to talk about is finding the right e-collar sound to sound like live snow geese I've toyed and played with a lot of them. I've had a lot of different ones on the market. Just about every e-collar sound you can buy, I've I've had it, and um, or I've listened to it and uh, made decisions either not to buy it or it just didn't sound right to me at all. So, uh, picking the right e-collar sound is to me is trying to sound as lifelike as you can as you can get and. It, all of them are recorded, most of them, 99% of them, are recorded snow of live snow geese. But I think there's a point in finding the e-collar sound where you want to sound like the the image you're trying to portray to these birds. Um, if I've, I've seen snow geese going down on other snow geese, and the geese on the ground, they'll be talking. But when ge other birds start approaching them, the geese in the air start talking a lot and the birds on the ground start talking a lot. They start communicating back and forth. So when you're out there trying to hunt birds, you're trying to draw geese down. So what I'm trying to portray is geese talking to those geese up there. So whenever I'm playing e-collar sounds, I want barks, I want honks, and I want those to be overpowering more than the feeding gabble. So when you're picking e-collar sounds, Try to find the sound that sounds like birds talking, getting excited, um, really squawking it up because I've used other uh, e-collar sounds in the past where it's been that, that real boring sound, what I'm talking about, and we've killed a few geese, but when I switched over to using uh, e-collar sounds with more honks in it than there is feeding gabble, I've killed way more birds and I chalk it down to that and mixing in the snow goose call that I uh, made another video about. So uh, so pick sounds that sound like birds on the ground talking to other birds in the air. So three, which sounds should I, so which, what are my options? So uh, the e-collar sounds that I use is snows down low uh, barking orders. Uh, the one track I love on there is Dueling Devils. It sounds like two geese talking back and forth, and it kind of portrays that um, talking to geese up in the air, too. Um, I've seen geese, you know, working and working, and my e-collar track will switch because it only runs in a, you know, a certain amount of time. It'll switch in the middle of it, and they'll start to get a little nervous, and then once I turn it back, they come right back in. Or I'll just be playing that day and I'll be like, I'm going to try this sound. I'll try that sound and the geese won't work quite as well as if I was using the other one. Um, I don't know if it was just coincidence, but it just seemed like I've had way better luck with the Dueling Devils track on there. And that's what I use exclusively now. And some other options is you've got Snow Talker. 
Um, that's a big one. Snows on the Prairie. I've used Snows on the Prairie for years. Um, those are the, the three that I would recommend. Um, but the number one would be Snows Down Low. Um, I love their e-collar sounds. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just really like their sounds. And I love, I just, it sounds like just what I'm wanting to, that's, it sounds what I'm trying to portray, I guess I'm trying to say here. It sounds what I've heard in on the ground in the past, you know, watching snow geese feed. So, uh, if you guys are looking for e-collar sounds, I'll leave the uh, I'll leave a link down below to where you can get them at. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as always. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment of some e-collar sounds that you use or some tips and tricks that you use with your e-collar to help you kill more snow geese. So. Anyways, guys, snow goose season is coming up fast for a lot of you folks, especially down in Arkansas. We're still a little over a month away out, but uh, I sure am ready for it, and I know uh, we, well, the rest of the crew is too. So, uh, anyways, guys, good luck out there, and I will see you on the next video.